This is take two, um, reseeding your SSD cable for your CR48. Uh, first and foremost, you want to make sure that your CR48 is unplugged, no power to it. You want to flip it over, remove the battery, and then take a persistent screwdriver and unscrew. There's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve screws. Let me get this done real quick for you. These are very tiny screws, so you want to make sure that you place them somewhere you won't lose them. Uh, they are very easy to misplace them. I actually, first time I did this, I spent about 15 minutes trying to find one I dropped on the floor. Um, so you do want to be very careful about where you place these and very careful where you set them so you don't drop them on the floor, especially on carpet. Uh, like I said, 15 minutes looking for just one of the screws. Out of these 12 screws, there are only absolutely four now sorry five that need to go in specific places uh, the two larger ones go on the outside of the case the other ten actually are inside the battery case and these first these four right here and the three in the middle they're all interchangeable the three in the very top of the battery case those have to go those are little black ones they absolutely have to go ooh, almost dropped it they they absolutely have to go back into these top three spaces and then you have the two that go on the outside cases which are much larger Once you get these unscrewed, you should be able to just pop off the case. Uh, one thing you do want to make sure is that you remove the little SD holder, the SD card slot that it comes in, and be careful of the USB slot too. You don't want to mess it up too much. So what I do normally, what I found, is right here at the hinge. It's the easiest place to just pop it open and then work your way around it. And it just pops right off. Okay, now once you have the back off, right here is your, S your uh, SSD, your solid state drive. You follow this little ribbon up, and you'll come right here to where it seeds into the 
um, motherboard, I think, or whatever it is. But whatever it is, right here is where you want to reach in, and it'll actually just pop right out on both sides, and then it does stick right here to the case. So you want to carefully peel that up off the case, and then you can slide the ribbon out. Now the solid state drive is also screwed in with smaller screws. So you can also take that out if you want to receive the other part of the solid state drive. that ribbon that went up to where you seat it in in here and then the other part where the solid state just plugs right into so you can pull that out if you want normally I don't think that is the problem for reseating it I think it's this side that's the main problem for reseating but it does just pull right out once you unscrew it and then slots right back in We'll go ahead and put that right back. Now it does have three screws on the inside. And I think it's actually held down by one screw on the in outside also. I could be mistaken about that, but it does have three on the inside. And two of them go in the top part, which are the smaller silver ones. And you got one black one that goes on the bottom through the SSD. Now the most, the more difficult part is when you take out this ribbon part of the uh, cable. This little part right here is actually what holds it into place into the connector down on the board. It has to go under the ribbon bef before it will be completely secure. So what I do is I'll actually pl push the ribbon back in and then work the clip up under it to go back to it. It's easier this way for uh, people with larger hands because uh, trying to get your hands in there It is very difficult with fatter fingers. I'm still working on finding a better way to do it. Um, best way to do it is find, try to find your best way. Um, I've had a few tries to do it, and uh, uh, that was saying the easiest just setting it on the board and then pushing in the ribbon, and then the clamp actually just you push it up in there and it should be seated in then what I do is I don't mind it being stuck down here so it does have a little adhesiveness on the ribbon so I just push it down on there so it gets tight on there and that is reseating the cable for your CR48 now all you have to do is put it back together just snap the case back on and screw it back together
I said, as I said earlier, there are three tiny black screws that go inside this battery compartment that need to go at this top part closest to where you find the SIM card and the uh, dev, uh, dev switch. Now the main reason to do this, to reseat your cable, uh, sometimes it gets jarred loose and some people have had problems with it, with their CR48s just randomly rebooting, randomly starting, randomly crashing or whatever, and this seems to fix it. This is a fix that many people have done. I haven't seen many videos showing you where or how to do it. That's why I decided to do these videos. Um, if you'd like to see any more videos that I could possibly help out with, please let me know. Uh, I am on, uh, we do have a Chromebook Guru site, a Google page actually, um, a sites page, whatever. But if you want to check that out, we actually have a uh, moderator uh, page on there that we'll look at suggestions and whatnot, but all the, most of the Chrome Gurus are on there, plus a few uh, contributors that are respected throughout the community. And we'll put we po post our blogs on there. We have well, we don't post the blogs on the site, but we link to the original blogs. Um, as I said, we had a mod. We have a Google Moderator uh, tool on there where we'll take suggestions. We also have uh, an events page where uh, gurus uh, are going to be trying to set up uh, meetups and demos for pilots and uh, people curious about Chrome OS. Um, so if you have any ideas for us, please stop by that site and let us know and then we'll try to help you out. But that is how you receipt your... <coughs> That's how you receipt your CD, uh, SSD cable. And thank you for watching.